What is good, y'all? Serial Films here, and today we're back at it with another video. Now, today we will be discussing a topic that a lot of people like to discuss. Some have their opinions about it, some go for it, some go completely against it. So, before we start this video, I'm going to show you guys again. We are clear in there. And we are clear in there as well. Ain't nothing in there. This is two of my Glocks that I have put together completely, and question for today's video is should you mod your Glock so um, I know a lot of people are totally against this a lot of people hate Glock they don't even think you should buy a Glock in general so I do have a bone stock Glock 48 here MOS I did upgrade the time designs send the mag catch make that easier but you can see she is clear so the question is is it worth it to modify your Glock and take it from say something like this simple just straight black and go ahead and you know make it pretty add some nice bells and whistles and i think it all depends on what you are using it for so this g19 for example when i first bought this g19 i had no intentions of ever even doing half of the stuff that i did on there my intentions were to just go ahead and you know throw some night sights on there a tlr7 and buy a holster for it and that was it as you can see i went completely the different route i went ahead and pretty much almost touched up everything on this gun it's almost it's almost done so this gun does consist of radiant ramjet afterburner comp combo at the top a holosin pid which adds an, a lot of weight on there and it makes it feel like it's gonna help a lot with the snappiness so we got that up here we have a custom undercut stipple and slide circle job on there that was done by one of my local gunsmiths here in town and we do have a flared magwell down here now after i did all this this obviously isn't an edc no more but um was it worth it and in my opinion it was 1000 percent worth it i could still take off this and put the regular barrel i actually did it a couple weeks back i put the og barrel on there took off the magwell took off the light and went ahead and shot it just like that and it performs completely differently than it used to before the only con to this is that this can get expensive so these little mods that I got right here, the Radian, the PID, the custom job, and the Magwa, including the gun, which if I if we include the gun to be $400 with all these things on top, it would be around a $1,200 build as it sits right now. And I haven't even gotten into the trigger. I haven't even done sights. As you can see, my slide release is fading out because I haven't even got to that yet. And yeah, so that's the first con about building out your Glocks is that it's, ex it's, it's expensive. It costs money. Like even this g43x right here that you see it looks like it has nothing much done to it but here we got the tlr6 that's a hundred dollars the slide release that's 40 the extended mag release that's another 40 we got the trigger shoe that's about 70 and then we got the flared mag right here that's about 70 so that's about 300 dollars in mods not including the night sights on there that are like 80 dollars so that's about 400 dollars in mods and really whenever you get all these things it's just pieces of plastic so it's like should i even you know mod my glock i'm spending money kind of for no reason and i think like i said it depends this is my edc i carry this everywhere i go and the mods on it have just made it better and i believe that you can go ahead and mod the gun as much as you want as long as you don't get in there and mess with that trigger mechanism that's whenever you will start to have issues as you can see i even still have the oem plunger i'm not going to mess with none of that for me, as far as it goes, is changing these aesthetic parts that kind of have a purpose, but kind of don't have a purpose with how a gun functions. The reason why I don't think it's worth to mod something like this G19 right here, because like I said earlier, this combo right here will cost you around $1,200. And for that price range, you can get into a Legion of some sort, some like an MMP competitor that's a full metal frame or something. And to each your own, I, I love my Glock. I wouldn't trade it for either one of those options. But some people prefer different and you can get into those price ranges. And one of the big things is for those price ranges is that mine is not optics cut. You guys got to think about that too. Mine is not optics cut. And a lot of those options do come optics cut from the factory at those price ranges. They come with flare mag wells. They come with uh, metal frames. They come with pretty much almost everything that you could basically need out of a gun. Except like the custom stippling or a light on there. But they do come even with night sights. So that is the difference is that you can go ahead and build up a Glock. And some of the competitors out there will have a lot more to offer with how much you've spent currently. So, like I said, there is a lot of better options in this out there right now currently. But for $1,200, I feel like this is a really solid option and I wouldn't pick anything else. The third reason why this could be kind of a con to mod your Glock 
is because you can go ahead and spend all this money, right? You can go ahead and spend $1,200 and you can still suck with this. Like, I've seen videos of people with the Radiant Ramjet and they still literally, like, it's still, like, kicking, like, if it has no comp on there. You could still suck just because you add these attachments on there. You could still not know how to properly grip your gun. You should just save some money and send a bunch of rounds down range before you even think about modifying your Glock because it's not a magician. It's not going to just magically make you better just because you add these attachments on there. Instead, it's just going to make you look kind of foolish because you're going to have all this spent money and all these attachments and you're still going to suck. So make sure you go ahead and get better with your firearm and proficient before you start modding it. So now that I talked about some of the negative things, I will say modifying this Glock has been the best thing ever. Even whenever I just had the Radiant Ramjet on there, whenever it was OEM frame, OEM slide, and just this on there, it was still, it exceeded my expectations. It was amazing. Now I look at it as kind of like a gun that, this will never be in my EDC rotation again. It'll just be one of my guns that I could say that it was one of my first Glock builds. And I am really excited about how it turned out. It's still not done yet. It's still still debating the sights because like I said, I'm only it's only gonna be a range toy, so I'm I'm really good with these sights. Um still debating the sights, but for sure here soon we're gonna go ahead and be switching this slide release and this mag release. Probably won't be doing nothing crazy, probably will just be doing it from the Glock store and this trigger as well. Probably will be doing something with Apex here soon. I don't want to overdo this gun, but like I said, in my honest opinion, if you consider what I talked about earlier, that it's expensive, you can buy other options that are also great at the price range. And that it's not gonna make you better. I, if you put those to the side, I generally believe that it is 100% worth it to modify your Glock and add your own personal touches on there. Let me know what y'all want to see coming up next. I probably will be discussing this with you guys and showing this to you guys a little more in the next video. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe.